Hello, my name's Matt. I'm the creator of Tanglewood. This is a brand new game coming next year to the Sega Genesis and the Sega Mega Drive. So if you like this video today, please click the link below and back it on Kickstarter so I can make this a reality. Um, Tanglewood was created using Raw 68000 assembly language. It was created using the original development hardware back from the early 90s. This is a, a Cross Products Sega Mega CD development kit. Um, which I've been using to create the game over the past couple of years. So I'm going to show this off. Um, it looks a little bit like uh, a Mega CD, but it's not quite. Um, there isn't a, a, a standard Genesis and Mega CD inside. Um, it's got what's called a SNASM host board, um, and there is a, a Genesis and a Mega CD daughter board on top, so that it's, it's different hardware to what you'd find in a traditional model. And for that reason, the whole thing's moulded together. The uh, bridge doesn't come open. Um, you can't separate the two. It's all screws and moulded together. Um, so it's, it's very much a bespoke piece of hardware. Um, on the side, we've got a, a big fat heat sink there for that particularly hot component. Um, and the uh, line out there, uh, which replaces the one on the front, the headphones on the front because um, obviously it's missing because of these switches. Um, we've got the uh, very annoying little fan there, it's very whiny. Um, the bridge, which doesn't come off, it looks like it does, but it doesn't, that's screwed on. Uh, on the back, we've got the uh, SESI connector for the SNASM host board. Uh, we've also got the um, emulator for the uh, CD drive port. Um, everything else seems to be standard. It's got a, a SCART output, an RF output, and the standard Mega CD left-right line out and the, um, the mixing port. It's got two um, power connectors, but only one's actually in use. It powers both. Um, the top it looks just like a Sega Mega Drive. Uh, the on the power button functions as expected. The volume functions as expected. The reset isn't, isn't hooked up in up to anything, it doesn't serve a function on this. Um, to hit the reset you use a, a utility that comes with it. In addition to this it needs the interface boards. This is the uh, SNASM2 interface ISA card. Uh, it's got the funky SNASM2 logo on the back. Um, this has got a, a Zilinxon chip here on the on the, in the middle. Um, and it's also got this, uh, which is the, um, it looks like a battery, but it's the license key to use the software. Um, so if you've used Cubase and had to insert a dongle for it, it pretty much serves the same purpose. Um, it's got three other slots for three other pieces of software. I would assume the Z80 assembler or something like that. Along with that, we've got the um, interface board for the CD um, emulator so that you can feed um, an ISO file straight from the PC to the unit uh, and bypass the CD drive. That's uh, still got the Sega branding on that one, it's official stuff. Um, that's got a lot more pins than the other one, so it comes with this um, bespoke cable here, which is very difficult to get hold of. Um, I should probably upload a pin out of this in case anybody else needs one of these. Um, and I've also got the uh, official Cross Products box and manual to go with this as well. And this has got the uh, the original disc uh, for the SNASM2 set. This has also got the SN server driver disc here, which is for the uh, uh, CD drive board, um, acts as a file server. Uh, and inside we've got all about the assembler, how to build, uh, optimization flags, etc. It's got all about how to fire up the debugger, stuff like that. Um, very, very useful manual. I wouldn't have got as far as I did uh, without it. So, let's fire this thing up and I'll give you a demonstration. So first we've got to insert the ISA card for the SNASM host. That should slot in there. There we go. And connect up the uh, what looks like a parallel port, it's not, it's SESI. And at the other end, connect up the uh, SESI, 
the SCART, uh, which I've got running through uh, just a cheap GBS SCART uh, VGA converter. And we need some power. And not a lot happens by default, just the power light comes on because uh, we need the PC interface for it to actually do something. So let's fire up the PC. Don't worry about the hard disk warning, it's been happening for a while. Good old Windows 95. Technically 3.1 was for the time, but this is a, a different PC I've got with me today. I usually use a Pentium 75, but the, the board bust the other day. So I've got this um, AMD K6, 200 megahertz. And in we go. Okay, so uh, I've already got a develop in development environment set up here. Uh, I've already got the disks loaded. I've already got the driver loaded in the uh, autoexec.bat file. Uh, so we can go right ahead and start editing some code. Uh, this is the part of the Tanglewood code base here. I've got my main function here and all the includes for the game. Um, but we are interested in the entry point here. Uh, right at the top, uh, it's a Cross Products Mega CD kit, not a normal Mega Drive, so there are some extra steps to follow here. Um, the vector table at the top of the ROM needs to have some changes made to it, so that things like the trace interrupt point to point parts of the hardware rather than parts of code, etc. Uh, and there's uh, another routine I've got to restore the horizontal interrupt because it's a, a joined. Genesis and Mega CD that I can't separate. Um, the Mega CD memory map is still there, um, so you have to change the horizontal interrupt to match your own. So let's go ahead and, and uh, code something mundane then, I guess. Um, let's move a long word uh, literal 32 to register D0. Let's move long word uh, literal. 16 to register D1 and let's add the two together add long word D0 to D1 there we go it's not exactly quite but it'll do for now uh, so if I open my uh, Tanglewood code base and then open the command prompt spell it right Uh, and then I've already got a batch file set up to run the snasm.exe assembler. So if I do build dbg, and that's run. So that should dump out uh, in my debug folder. Uh, the tanglewood.bin binary file. Uh, the cough file, which is the, uh, the, the debugging info um, that's understood by the snasm2 debugger. So I've also got a list file and a map file with all the symbols in. So first thing to do is to fire this up, and then the action light for the main CPU comes on to tell me that it's ready. Um, obviously the sub-CPU is disabled, um, so nothing's going to happen on the mega CD, CD side. But the screen's ready to go, so we should be able to open up the debugger. And here we go. Uh, we've already got the um, code window ready, the register, re register window is ready. It's already opened up the last binary that I had loaded, so it's, it's done some of the hard work for us. So I can go ahead and find the entry point, which is CPU underscore entry point. It's got a s symbol search here, which is excellent to do. The first thing we're going to want to do is reset the CPU here before we go. So it's execution reset processor. Um, and then I can move down to that code we just wrote, and here's a breakpoint, which is F5. So if I then run that, there we go, that's already hit the breakpoint. So we can step through, move 32 to D0, so if we watch D0, step, there it is. We're going to move 16 to, D0, to D1, uh, watch D1, step, there it is. And then we're going to add D0 to D1, so let's step again, and there we go, so that's all fully functional. Um, and if I continue on, I've got the rest of the demo ready. 
and there is uh, Nim, the lead character of the game, uh, running around in some Sonic assets. So if I hook up the controller. That should just go. There we go. There he is. It's just my uh, little test program uh, for teaching people to code. Um, I'll be running a Twitch stream soon on uh, Mega Drive development. Uh, start to finish. Um, you can also check out my blog, which is BigEvilCorporation.co.uk, uh, for a full set of um, what you could probably consider tutorials at this stage. They've been tried and proven now uh, on how to program 68k assembly language. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please, please do back my game on Kickstarter. Um, it is the real deal. It is coded using real development hardware in the real assembly language. Um, so thank you very much for watching.